Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar and video game graphics are too real, okay? I don't think they can get any better. Honestly, at this point, I believe in simulation theory more than I've ever done. Because what I'm about to show you is, in my opinion, absolutely peak video game graphics, okay? Now, before somebody goes, but Muda, we said the same thing back in 1994, 2000, early 2000s. Back in the day, I was playing Chrono Trigger. Obviously, games were gonna look better than that. Same with Final Fantasy VII, okay? Same with, I don't know, Counter-Strike 1.6. Obviously, graphics have evolved, and now we've gotten so many interesting techniques that it's almost lifelike. So for the past couple days, YouTube has basically been assaulting me with all these recommendations of video game graphics, okay? I watch a lot of Digital Foundry, I watch a lot of video game stuff. This is something that's been showing up. And when I saw this particular image, I almost thought I was looking at a real photo. And usually at this point, I'm like, somebody's made a fake thumbnail, whatever. So I click on it and boy oh boy, does my brain get like absolutely blown away. So right here, you can see that this one channel uploaded like Cyberpunk 2077, watch this video. That looks like near real life. Honestly, with the way the camera is moving, when I watched this for the first like 10 seconds, I thought maybe I'm looking at somebody's actual Nissan GTR. Now, for anybody that doesn't know, Cyberpunk 2077 has some new graphical mods. Uh, not mods, but updates in the last couple of years. It's made a comeback. But if you're on the PC, there's something known as path tracing, which is like an NVIDIA thing. And what it is, is basically regular lighting, which is, you know, uh, as we traditionally have seen it, expensive. Uh, ray tracing, also very expensive. But if you're somebody that has played, uh, you know, path tracing, Cyberpunk is the first AAA game to put that in to its franchise and the results are almost lifelike. And obviously I've been sharing like screenshots from it on Twitter, I've used it in gameplay footage, but today I wanna to sit down and show you like some of the actual game. And of course, modding Cyberpunk is easy as hell. It's literally drag and drop. A monkey could actually get this stuff done. So I'm using a combination of mods that I had found on Nexus and some mods that I obviously, you know, some of these I paid for. And of course, the actual inspiration for some of this has been like a video game known as Unrecord. Now, a couple of months I covered this. I'm still waiting for it to release, but obviously if you're looking at the footage, it is almost lifelike looking. What about a game that has to deal with a day-night open world cycle looking better than this? Let's get in to the actual meat and potatoes. Now I can finally play this. So immediately right off the bat, this is Cyberpunk 2077, obviously with a lot of visual mods. So obviously I put a vehicle into it. Normally I'm not a fan of putting like real world cars into games, but just to, you know, to, to show you, I was like, damn, this, this looks downright real, real. Obviously it's damaged a little bit. I gotta like fix it up just because I, I crashed getting over here. But of course, to understand, this is the rest of the game world. Obviously, when you're looking up, you can see that in some cases, the lighting is reflected pretty realistically. Now, if you look at the colors, it's obviously looking a little bit dull just because I have it set to cloudy. But obviously, if I go into the mods, I can change the weather to like sunny. And then of course, like you can see, okay, it's actually looking nice, bright and beautiful. And of course, the lighting, obviously, this is using something known as reshade. So obviously this is a PC tool that's designed to like sort of add extra effects. So you've got cinematic depth of field, all this extra bullshit added right on top of it. Every time you like build something, it can like either crash the game, but here it is. Here's like a, again, another version of it running. So the way that everyone's been getting it to look like is they go into mods and they basically set it to like heavy clouds and just set the time to that. And obviously the cloud, the world gets cloudy. It gets really overcast. And of course, the lighting changes to something that looks a little bit drear. It's like we're in London, dude. You can barely see the city. So obviously one of the things you probably shouldn't be doing is like changing around some of the graphic settings on the fly. Just because if you do that, the game actually tends to like crash. Uh, it can crash just because I don't know what it's doing necessarily, but like... So one thing to note is if you keep changing a lot of these graphic settings on the fly, it can just crash the game. Like I almost thought the game crashed right there, but it did not. Now it has one of the stupid effect, like this one effect I don't like where it like depth of fields and it just makes everything like blurrier. Like, dude, my eyes are functioning. I'm fine. Let me actually use proper depth of fields. So we're going to drive around and I want to show you this one other mod that like absolutely blows me away from like an actual like immersion standpoint. It's, it's, it's actually the best part. I would choose to play the game again with the mod you're about to see. 
So I'm just gonna save the game right here. Hopefully it doesn't crash. I'm gonna show you guys this sick little mod here. So they got this body cam mod that actually replicates the unrecorded game we saw earlier. And it crashed? No! Well, thank God I saved. So one of the mods that interested me was by the same guy making these graphic mods where like literally they made a version of the actual reshade where it mimics that unrecorded game. Now this, what you're seeing over here is also through like an AI tool that connects through a webcam. I don't have a webcam on this system where you can actually look around and it like literally resembles the unrecorded experience. Like if you look at it, pop, pop, pop. <laughs> Dude straight three taps a bunch of gangbangers. And of course, combining it with the actual mod that we've been seeing, the visuals, it's pretty insane. And of course, obviously I got it right over here, ladies and gentlemen. So here it is. We're pushing in into Santo Domingo. So there's like a couple of gangbangers right over there too. And I got like a threat indicator, which I might as well turn that off just for extra immersion. Uh, there's no reason if you're going for this level to actually have like, you know, damage threat indicators on top of their head. All right, for some reason I can't like turn that off, but here we go, boys. Cut through that boom, right in the head. Pop, pop. <laughs> right there, boom, boom. And of course, if you want to actually use some of your hacks, you can, for instance. But because of how it's got this like fisheye effect, it's pretty difficult to get that going. Now, the problem with this is obviously the FOV. Like this kind of gameplay is cool. And this makes me almost reconsider getting that excited for unrecorded. Because if the game is like, 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 <coughs> it's like it's got this fisheye effect that's like it, it almost makes me feel like motion sick and it almost makes me feel like i'm playing through like some robotic terminators i mean it literally is like the body cam effect you know and of course the game itself like if you look at the distance it really is it's got some like actual artifacting it's got some blur to it it's got some vhs like video effects like it really is gritty if they made like an LSPD FR, like they had a police mod for uh, GTA 5 and 4. If they could bring that for like Cyberpunk 2077, dude, with this mod, it'd be like peak immersion. And again, if you like compare like the ray trace to the non-ray trace, it would be like, it still is like a, like a night and day difference when you look at the lighting overall, especially when you start walking inside like interior buildings and whatnot too. Now, obviously games like GTA 6 are around the corner, but being that that's like a console release, I don't think it's gonna have this, li like this lighting will still be GTA 6, just because the path tracing leads to like these better effects. Like you're never gonna get, like just, like there is, it literally feels like there is no issue. Like if you get off the bike here, and you start looking around at some of these houses, like the shadowing, the lighting, it all fits in so well. And of course, when you add in the body cam effect, it's like, you know, you show this to somebody, like, you, you give them, like, a little hot take. They might think that they're looking at an actual body cam of a fucking hope. So, again, within out the gun over here. Seems to be a few, like, few bad guys 100 meters north of us. I mean, I guess this is kind of like the uh, <laughs> Night City police mode. I mean, in Night City, you know, you can just straight up, like, take a life, no questions asked, right? Want him dead or alive? Like, look at that, the overpass, everything. Like this is, this, this this literally does feel like I'm playing the body cam horror game. And if you want to get like real motion sickness, you know, just double jump up there. Look at these guys, dude. Can we get a quick snipe? Ha! Oh my God, I forgot I had the explosive rifle. Oh, jump over here. Oh, dude, even the gunfights feel so immersive in this, dude. Oh, shit, what's there? Yeah, if you turn off everything, it's like, oh, Jesus Christ. Get out. Man, I am a terrible shit shot right now. <laughs> it doesn't help that like aiming like this is a little bit more difficult than I expected. But I mean, hey, you know, add the extra difficulty, dude. This is, oh, shit, 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 shit. Okay, wait, wait, that's another, uh, that's another Sixth Street bastard. There's like a, there's like a whole turret there. Wait, there's like a person, hold on. Um, system collapse. Wait, right, they're dead. What is this guy on? Tier 3 components? Yeah, like, dude, if you if you patch this up a little bit, like, to understand, if you, like, pressed home and, like, turned off, like, a, a couple of these effects, like, vignetting, it might make the game a little bit more easier, especially if you're, like, if you don't want that, like, fishbowl effect. If you even want to get rid of, like, the fishbowl effect, too, that's possible over here. 
All right, so here it is with the rain. You know, obviously, because because you got you got to have a graphics video when you talk about like rain to people. And if you turn all of this off, this is what the game looks like without that extra VHS like effect. And even this is just it is super duper well done. Like again, this shot alone of Night City, like this is like wallpaper material, dog. Like this is gorgeous. And again, adding in like this filter and let's like actually take down some of these assholes down here too. It ain't bad. Like look at this, dude. Look at that! Like, this is gorgeous, bro! And again, because of path tracing, it's very difficult to find even an issue in the ray tracing or anything. And again, this is also with the mod that makes it like 40% faster. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Oh my god. They gotta make like, they gotta make a Night City like body cam horror mod. We've got a bunch of dudes over here. Pop one in the in the face right there. Man, how this com how this like god how they can take shots to the face is always like baffling me. All right, contagion. You know, if you ever played this game as a net runner, it's super super fun. You don't even have to like fire the gun. <laughs> and boom. There we go. I think everyone's dead. I don't know why the game is telling me to watch out. Oh, oh my god! You got a whole ass ninja and shit? <laughs> Short circuit, dude, what the? <laughs> that was crazy! Oh my god, they sent a whole squad out after me! Guys, stop! Oh my god! This is something, like, new. And again, if you turn it off, obviously, like, I think without some of those effects, it cuts away. Like, I mean, this still looks amazing, but I feel like when you add in some things that, like, blur up the footage, it makes it look a little bit more realer, because, like, I, I, it's all, like, it shouldn't look this sharp, I would say, to the eye. There was a game I played years ago on my channel, September 1999. It's a free game you can download and play right now. Absolutely brilliant. Definitely throw that developer a few bucks. Um, that guy made a game on Unity that, like, again... The way that the assets were done, the way that it was lit, looked absolutely like real life almost. Oh, this is a hit squad they sent out on me? Night City, target name V. <laughs> Get out of here, you Arasaka pussies. <laughs> they sent a bunch of losers after me, dude. Get out of here. Like even this one looks crazy. That's the first time I've ever seen like, a, like an actual space shuttle flying off. That is so gorgeous. And the thing is, like, even the nighttime, obviously, like, this is when I think the game almost shines in a way, too. Like, a lot of people like what it looks like in the day, but I'm a huge fan of, like, just this game driving at night. Is this kind of, like, visuals that I kind of sit down and wonder? I don't know if we're ever really going to get much better. And it comes down to, like, the graphical techniques being used. Like, obviously, with pat tracing, some of you guys watching it might think this looks overly dark, but, like, you know, with a couple of these mods, this is, like, as close as to, like, well replication of reality as you're expecting like sites like this to me are about as gorgeous as you can get it and again some from somebody that came from playing on intel integrated graphics like back in the days of old oblivion to get that game even functioning this is like a dream come true like this to me is like the peak video game like graphics and again like when i look at gta 6 or like any other open world game coming out there's a lot to there's a lot for me to ask. The only thing that obviously I feel like a mod is needed is probably for like city traffic cuz being that this is Corpo Plaza downtown, it should probably have a few more cars. But again, that would lead to what I assume is a whole heck of a lot of performance problems. Like just look at a shot like this, dude. It's like straight up out of like a movie even. It's like out of Blade Runner, dude. Like Ghost in the Shell, your favorite cyberpunk style like movie or anime. Again, with like shots like this, it's insane to see, man, like how far video game graphics have truly come along. And honestly, you know, from me speaking, I really don't think it's going to get much better than what we're seeing over here. So again, big congrats to CD Projekt Red and big congrats to the modding community, man, because I feel like for the first time I finally have been playing a video game that is just like mastered the technology behind it. But anyways, enough glazing, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. I'm about to load up the seventh playthrough of this game. Let's get right into a good old documentary video about it. I am out.